Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Joe Melillo. Here's the latest from WENY HD News and the Star Gazette. Union workers at Guthrie Corning Hospital have a lot to celebrate this morning. After months of negotiations, employees have a new contract. Members of the local service employees union approved a new deal, taking them into 2016. Now, the contract includes a 6% pay increase over three years, plus step increases for years of service. Now, the hospital will continue to pay 90% of the health premiums until 2016, then drop to 85% later. The two sides had been negotiating a contract since February. Police and NYSEG investigators are closing in on a cause of that home explosion and fire in horse heads that happened Wednesday night. They say someone inside the home caused a buildup of natural gas. An inspection of NYSEG equipment in the area found no defects or safety concerns. The victim, Brian Marr, is at Strong Memorial Hospital listed in guarded condition. Now that means they're monitoring his vital signs and doctors, in their opinion, say his life could be at risk. A neighbor helped Marr get out of the house after the explosion and just moments before it erupted into flames. So I just kind of walked around the house screaming his name and trying to, you know, find ask him if he can find a way out uh, which he eventually was able to find a way out of the basement uh, came around to the front of the house and uh, just kind of sat with him and waited for uh, law enforcement and fire to arrive we're keeping in touch with investigators to bring you more information as soon as it becomes available now, Governor Cuomo and Seneca Indian Nation leaders have announced a gambling deal this comes after a long-running dispute over western New York gambling rights and revenue Seneca leaders and Cuomo revealed a settlement in a dispute that has denied the state more than $600 million in revenue sharing fees from the tribe. Now, the deal gives the Western New York tribe an extension on its gambling compact to 2023, also allowing it to keep $208 million from the $617 million in unpaid state casino funds going back almost four years. Now, the deal allows three non-Indian race track or racinos in the region to continue operating as long as they don't build themselves as casinos. And a growing trend of smartphone theft has prompted New York's Attorney General to set a new initiative in place to protect consumers. It's called a kill switch, and Attorney General Eric Schneiderman says it can help solve cell phone theft. He's asking representatives from Motorola, Samsung, Apple, and Microsoft to come up with a kill switch or a way to make a stolen phone unusable. Apple has said such a feature would be part of its iOS 7 smartphone software released in the fall. But security experts say the idea of a kill switch brings in privacy concerns. Now here's meteorologist John Hickey with today's forecast. John. Well, today won't be quite as damp as it was yesterday, and we'll see at least a little bit of sunshine, which will help boost some of the spirits. As yesterday was just such a soggy day, so can't really let a few showers popping up this afternoon, but overall not nearly as rainy as it was yesterday, and we're heading into a beautiful, at least start of Father's Day weekend. We have sunshine in mid to upper 70s across the tiers tomorrow, but we have some showers to come for Father's Day, and it looks like some more shower chances, unfortunately, continuing into early next week. Here's your setup for today, though. Area of low pressure that brought us some of the steadier rain is well off towards our east, but there's still some less leftover instability in the atmosphere, so some pop-up showers this afternoon can't be ruled out. Even though Future Track is painting the greatest risk out towards the Hudson Valley, uh, it's going to extend back into the tiers, no doubt. A pop-up shower just can't be ruled out in a day like this. The good news, we clear out the sky for tonight, and temperatures, well, they're going to bottom out in the mid-40s overnight. So don't forget to close the windows before you go to sleep. Look to your day tomorrow. Look at this. High pressure comes in. And lots of sunshine in the forecast tomorrow. Just great for all your outdoor activities. A couple of events going on. Cardboard Boat Regatta going on up in Watkins Glen. Strawberry Festival. That actually is starting today in a week ago, but continues tomorrow. Tomorrow, the less of a chance, of course, for rain. Today, a few showers, but tomorrow, beauty. Mid-70s and sunshine. But here come the showers, unfortunately, for Father's Day. Not a total washout, but... Definitely, if you're going to have a plan for dad outdoors, you might want to get that in for tomorrow. Taking a look at your seven-day forecast, temperatures staying in the 70s over the next seven. And we have the chance for showers Monday, Tuesday. Clear it out for Wednesday. That's the forecast. Here's Joe. All right, thanks, John. For the latest news, weather, sports, be sure to check out WENY HD News at 536 and 11. Don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Joe Malillo. Have a great weekend, everyone.